my name is Marion. I'm from the blog Miss Mustard Seed, and today I'm working on a table I got off of Craigslist. I usually buy old pieces, but this was actually a new one from Pier One Imports originally, and I loved the shape of it. It had the shape of an old farmhouse table with these great chunky turned legs. Uh, it's a nice rectangular shape, but the problem is, is that the finish was a little bit shiny. It sort of said, hey, I'm a new table, and I want it to look like an old farmhouse table. So I originally tried stripping off the finish, and I'll tell you what, that finish was not going anywhere. I've never had that happen before. I stripped it, and it just like looked exactly the same as if I hadn't stripped it. So we had to sand it down. Um, actually, Christy sanded it down, which was a really fun job. Uh, anyway, so she sanded it down, and it was we're left with just this raw pine tabletop, and it needed a bit more texture. We did leave quite a lot of texture from the sanding so that it's just rough and has some marks in it and all, but I wanted to add more. So I added little wormholes with nails and with um, an upholstery staple remover. I also added some texture with a hammer, I beat it with a chain, I mean I really beat this table up so I could get um, a lot of texture out of it. And then I'm going to antique it. And to do that I'm going to use antiquing wax. Um, I know a lot of people have been using like vinegar solutions with steel wool soaked in it and stuff like that and that's a good option but you have to let that soak for quite a long time. So if you want some instant gratification you can apply some antiquing wax and the nice thing about it is you just apply it to the wood it adds that patina it's a really really warm brown so you're not going to get any kind of orangey tones that I found you get from a lot of um, antiquing glazes and that sort of thing you get a nice warm brown and it's also going to bring out all of the texture of the wood and make it look a lot older than it is so I'm using a medium-sized wax brush to apply the wax. Um, you can use just a bushy old paint brush would be fine. You don't have to use a wax brush. Um, if you do a lot, it's nice to get one, but you just need to be able to mush it in. And so I'm smushing in. You don't have to go with the grain or anything. I'm mushing it all into the surface of the wood. You want to really get it into the grain and the all of the little nooks and crannies that you created through distressing. And you can see I'm applying quite a lot. I wouldn't apply this much if I was just applying regular antiquing wax, or sorry, regular furniture wax. But the point is that I want to really, really work it in. You can see I'm really putting a lot of pressure on my brush to get it into all the details. And then I'm gonna take a cotton cloth. You wanna use one that's relatively lint free so you don't end up with a bunch of fuzz stuck all over your table. And then I'm gonna wipe it clean. And you're going to get some antiquing wax on your cloth and that's okay, you can just keep kind of turning it to find a clean spot. And this is wiping away the excess and it's also buffing the wax to make it nice and smooth. Now it should feel almost dry to the touch, maybe just a little wet, a little waxy. It shouldn't feel sticky or tacky or anything like that. If it does, there's still too much left on it. And as you can see, it adds just this beautiful patina. It brings out the grain of the wood. It adds a lot of warmth and it makes it pretty instantly look old. So I'm gonna continue applying this to the rest of the table and that's gonna be it, it's gonna be done.